You can always count on the Crusaders to make an entrance, and that they did on Saucon Valley's home field on Friday. After a scoreless first quarter, Notre Dame Green Pond wasted no time getting on the board in the second. In fact, they found the end zone less than a minute in when quarterback Danny Darno carried through two yards. The Panthers also quick to answer. Travis Reifenstall on the move finds Jack Robertson, who sets up this 24-yard run from Landon Bukowski to tie the game up at seven apiece. Now here comes the tandem of Josh Ludlow and Danny Darno, whose magic would pack a punch in the second quarter. Ludlow first put his team up 19 to seven, scoring on a 20-yard touchdown run that he battled to stay in bounds for. Then he hightailed it along the sideline and into the end zone one minute left before the half. Darno would make good on the two-point conversion and Notre Dame Green Pond heads into the locker rooms with a 20-point lead. Another tandem would rear its head in the second half as the Panthers fire back, scoring once in the third off a 13-yard connection from Reifenstall to Alex Magnata. The two would combine again to start the fourth, bringing this game within a score. However, the Crusaders Darno and Ludlow would be back at it again. Ludlow rushed for 151 yards and two touchdowns while teammate Darno completed 17 of 25 for 191 yards and a score. He'd have the final say for the Crusaders with a three-yard run to secure his team's first win of the season. Notre Dame Green Pond spoils the Panthers' home opener, taking a 41-34 victory. What a moment for Danny Darno, who finally got his time to shine under the Friday night lights, something he's been looking forward to for nearly his entire life. Now, this is his third start as quarterback, but first start as the number one guy, and he was certainly up for the task. Coach Stamball and staff happy with his performance and say that is a testament to the work he put in in the offseason. It was definitely emotional in the beginning, um, but I think once we got the hang of things, once we got a composure, it was really just an awesome time. It was fun, and that's all you can want. I'm sure it was a, a lifetime dream for him to be quarterback and yeah, at this school and to do that following his brother's footsteps and his dad ran our youth program for years. So really proud of him and uh, I thought he did outstanding. At Saucon Valley High School, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.